today the Little River Park Campground. Howdy YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I am wandering around in Miss V, the RV, dragging around Little Red, and today, Little Red and I are in the Little River Park campground on Pine Lake in Oklahoma, halfway between Antlers and Beaver's Bend. So, let's get on the scooter and go for a ride through this beautiful Corps of Engineer Park. All right, I got the camera, I got the scooter, I got you, so let's cue the music. This is a truly beautiful park. You're going to have to do a little switchbacking to get up some of these hills. So just fast forward through this part if it, if it bothers you. It is July 9th, 2020. We are all social distancing. While we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. All right, we're at the top of the hill now. We're gonna pick up some speed. This park is not real big. I should not have to do a battery swap, but it is so beautiful. Tall oak and pine trees, lots of wildlife. It's very smooth roads, which you know I love. That way I can go all out. And there's hardly anybody in this park which is really nice. Now the lake is, it's not that massive of a lake. I don't know how deep it is, but it's not very wide. As your dump station, there's actually two dump stations in this park. And the one that we just passed is the flat one. The other one, and I'll give you a look at it, you, you got to be get real careful when you're pulling in there because you can see where other RVers have drugged their bumpers. And get ready, you got to hold on. We're going to go fast now. Was fun. This is the day use area and they've got some primitive campsites over here. We'll swing through this little loop here so you get a look see at them. I have to slow down though it's rough. It's rough in here. The water's easily accessible by foot so if you're bank fishing this is the place to do it. Now, uh, State Highway 3 crosses the lake right, right here. When we get turned around, you'll be able to see the bridge. Uh, just below that is the old bridge that is mostly still there. About half of it's still there. So you can go out and fish the river channel from that bridge. If you go back over to the my experiential video, you'll see me fishing on the, the fishing bridge pier thingamajigger. So you can see the lake's not just real wide, but it's very there's a there's a lot of creek channels. A lot of fingers. And 
and this part floods when the when the river is flooded this part right here is going to be underwater and you can see by all the, the driftwood laying about that not too long ago this was underwater they have a swimming area Since there's so few people in the park, there's nobody swimming. Having the park empty is, is beautiful for me. We're gonna have to do kind of a clover leaf here. And what I mean by that is we're gonna come back up through there momentarily. More more day use. park is only a couple hours drive away from Dallas there's your boat ramp for your boat ramp fans and courtesy dock now that is a courtesy dock and they got a sign that says no fishing and no swimming you've been told but these are all primitive RV sites but your your waterside And I, I think the primitive camping fee is only a couple of dollars a, a day. Uh, I know with my access pass, I can I get the water and electric sites for nine dollars a day in the Corps of Engineer properties. These are water and electric. All right, now, now we go back up here. A little, little bit of switchbacking. I may have spoken too soon about the battery situation. Either way, uh, you won't see the battery swap because I'll edit it out. Oh, it is just so beautiful and peaceful here. There's absolutely no road noise at all at night. Yep, I'm going to have to swap out the battery. For shame, for shame. Alright, we'll get up to the top of this hill and uh, swap out the battery. when I'm wrong about the battery. Stand by. Oh yeah. 
back on the road for the green light. Oh, nice when you got a full battery pack. has been in the mid to upper 90s and humid so humid yesterday today it's not, not too uncomfortable all right up here on the left is the deadly dump station if you look at the pavement as we go by right here you can see where people have been dragging their bumpers so just be advised We saw some fellas cleaning a big mess of fish today. That wasn't me. <laughs> now, there are three, technically three loops, oh, but it really looks like four the way it's laid out. We're going to cut through the middle of this loop so you can see the camping campsite. Although it'd be much more fun to go full blast all the way around the circle. There are no solid pads in this loop. Uh, not much of a solid road either. But there are lots of trees. You want to bring a long water hose with you. This is, the water is kind of community. We'll zip down here and check out the second boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, there's your boat ramp. Single lane. Climb the hill, get some more day use picnic tables over here. And some vault toilets. There are actually two shower facilities. Oh wait, there's three. Three shower facilities here. Each loop has one. Now, there are quite a few lakeside campsites here in Little River Park.
this is strictly lakeside camping and these are all I think all of these are pull throughs as well no water if I recall Right or right. Oh no, we got a we got a dog that's gonna chase us. <laughs> or try to anyway. More vault toilets, and they're not the modern kind of vault toilets either. Battery sucking hill. But they sure are fun to go down. Way more fun going down than going up. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Twice, twice breaking the law, breaking the law. Three times. All right. One more to go. Now these are some of the better pads. These are the only solid pads in the campground. It is Thursday. Now, there were a couple of campers set up down here yesterday, but they have since left. Tell you what, I had to pick up a garbage sack full of litter when I got here. Seems to be a pretty common scenario in the Corps of Engineer campground. Sad to say. There's three spots that I think are fantastic if you've got a patio, a fold-out patio on your RV. And that's the ones right up here on this point. So those three sites right there. A one, two, and three. If you're looking for a great view, that's it. The group pavilion, there's also uh, 30 amp plugs all around that group pavilion there, so you can have a rally. Uh, 
But if you're looking for full hookup, there's only one area that has full hookup here in Little River Park. That is the A loop. And there are two handicap sites here on this loop. And a great big ditch where they ran a water line. And there's Miss V. Man, those are always so much fun. Man, I sure appreciate y'all riding along with me. Hope you enjoyed it. I know you didn't enjoy it as much as I did, but if you did enjoy it, Give me one of them thumbs up and bash me out across your social media. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I do appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed that little ride. I do one of these in every campground that I camp, and we haven't been back to the same campground twice in going on five years now. So click the subscribe button every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. I, I go live with a new video. Not live live, but I, I release a new video. And we visit all of these great public campgrounds. For those of you who have been riding along, you know I, how honored I am that you, that you ride along with me. Thank you so very much. Your continued support is most appreciated. Well, last thing I got to say is, y'all come back now, you hear?